Hi guys and welcome to my Digipedia. Every time Apple releases an iPhone, it comes in different size, color and also different models. For example, Apple's latest iPhone, iPhone 7, besides coming in two sizes, 7 and 7 Plus, and a bunch of colors, rose gold, gold, silver, black and jet black, it comes in six different models too. In this post, I will be explaining why Apple has different iPhone models and what are the differences between them. So, just like every year, Apple releases the iPhone in several countries with different carrier support. They come in different model numbers and it makes users confused on uh, which one to choose. The reason for this different model structure from Apple is that the model chips on the iPhone 7 and 7 Plus are from two manufacturers. Intel and Qualcomm, and some of the models can't perform well on a specific carrier network. Therefore, if you're planning to buy an iPhone before ordering it online or going to the stores, you should check them out carefully, or your phone might not function properly. Especially if you are a traveler and you're not sure whether the iPhone 7 you are going to purchase will be supported by the network providers around the world. At the moment, we have the following model numbers A1660, A1661, A1778, A1784, A1779, and A1785. You can find the model number of an iPhone by looking at the back of the box or the back of the iPhone. So let's see the differences between them. First, head on to mydigipedia.com with the link in the description below and just head down to the part that you can find all the details of each uh, model. So iPhone 7 uh, comes in three models A1660, A1778 and A1779. The iPhone 7 A1660 is considered the global phone as it is compatible with both GSM and CDMA networks. This model is available in the United States, Puerto Rico, Hong Kong and China. In the US, you can get the A1660 on S-Print and Verizon when you buy the SIM-free version or uh, when you buy the locked AT&T phone at Best Buy. So the, uh, the supported cellular bands is listed below and then um, the different uh, part numbers for each carrier is also listed. The second model is A1778 and has a very similar cellular connectivity as the A1660 except that there is no support for TDS-CDMA and CDMA Evolution Data Optimized Revision A-Bands. Therefore, the phone won't work properly on CDMA networks like S-Print or Verizon, although you still can make phone calls via VoiceOver LTE. In the US, you can purchase the version at T-Mobile and AT&T. This can also be found in many European and Asian countries like the UK, France, Germany, Denmark, Greece, Italy, Spain, Singapore and Australia. And again, the supported cellular brands are listed and also the part numbers. The third model for iPhone 7 is a1779 and is released for the Japanese market. The most important difference is not cellular bands but the addition of Felica Type F NFC contactless technology, which will allow users to use Apple Pay in Japan. You can easily get the phone via carriers like AU, Docomo, and uh, SoftBank. Notably, the A1779 covers some more LTE bands like Band 11 used by AU by Kai DDI and SoftBank and, and Band 21 used by Docmo. Um, uh, iPhone 7 Plus also comes in three models. A1661, A1784, and A1785. The iPhone 7 Plus A1661 is the most comprehensive model as it works on almost all GSM and CDMA carriers. The World Phone is available at Esprint and Verizon in the US as well as some other countries like Puerto Rico, Hong Kong and China. 
This is also the model you will receive when you buy the SIM-free unlocked version or when you buy the locked AT&T phone at Best Buy. And again, the supported cellular bands and the part numbers are listed. The second model for iPhone 7 Plus is A1784 and is available at T-Mobile and AT&T in the US as well as carriers in the United Kingdom, Canada, France, Germany, Singapore, Denmark, Spain and Australia. You can also buy it as a contract-free unlocked version at Apple Store. The phone is not co fully compatible with CDMA carriers including Sprint and Verizon. However, you still can use 3G or 4G LTE for voice and data services. So you can find the supported cellular brands and the part numbers for this model too. The third model for iPhone 7 Plus is A1785 and is available in Japan and it will be the first iPhone supporting Apple Pay in this country. Apple added the Felica tap to pay support so now you can pay at convenience stores, vending machines and other retail locations in Japan. The A1785 is fully compatible with Docomo, AU and SoftBank after the addition of the LTE bands 11 and 21. And that's about it guys, I hope this information was useful for you, until next time, peace.